Did you know that the monarch butterfly migrates over 3,000 miles from central Mexico to southern Canada? And they end up in the same exact location each and every year. Amazing. You can go on Monarch Watch this Saturday at International Community Day. And Tasha Velkamp owns Wings of Enchantment Butterfly Farm and joins us with more information about this amazing little insect's journey. Hi there, Tasha. Hi, Nikki. Oh, you know, I love butterflies. I They're just fun. love them. Well, I think the story is so interesting. And you know, you're working working with Southwest Monarch study to learn more about the whole migration pattern of the butterfly, which right. really, it's so intriguing and I really don't think most people know. So tell us what right. you've discovered so far. Well, really, we've discovered that we don't know as much as we thought we knew. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> it's, it's well known that the Rocky Mountains are kind of the dividing point for where monar monarchs go when they migrate. So the right. eastern side goes to Mexico and the western side goes to California. Right. But what we're finding out through tagging is that the butterflies in the southwest aren't doing what we thought everybody was doing. They're actually crossing back the Rockies and going, some are going down to Mexico, wow. some are going over to California, and I don't know if you guys can see the map very well, but you can see we've got a lot of question marks in the oh. southwest. Oh yeah, so. I see those. <laughs> yep. I see lots of question marks. Because yeah. it's, it's, a, it's an ongoing process to continue to figure it out, so that the next question logically would be how exactly do you monitor the migration? Well, we do tagging, okay. and it's really important for the people we rely on citizen scientists like you and me right, right. who would be willing to go out in their communities and net the butterflies and mm. then we use these little tiny tags and if you've got time I'd love to show you how we tag them. I'd love to see that. Okay so I brought some with me. So cool. Oh I love butterflies. Can you see them? They're flying around. Oh. Let's see. I don't want right. to. Oh my gosh. <laughs> look at this. Can you here, wait, let's hold it up so they can see. Yep. Oh my gosh. There you go. Oh, <laughs> so cute. Okay, so, so now how do you take tag? one of these little tiny tags. Okay. I'm just gonna pull one. You gotta hold it. Let's yep, hold it. Up. I'll hold it up. Okay. So it's a little tiny tag. Okay. And there's a specific spot on their wing where you can put it. And after I tag it on here, I'll hold she'll it show back it up. as soon as she does yeah. it. Okay. So she we just, just squish that up. little sticker on there. And that's it. And that's it. So you, so it's. See, I always was afraid that like, you couldn't hold a butterfly I'll like that. It, it would hurt their wings. Nope, you're not going to hurt their oh. wings. <laughs> so you just hold it like this, and you just stick the tag on, and then you that's stick it. Stick the tag on, and it doesn't injure them. It doesn't hurt their flight pattern. Oh my gosh! So. And then you protect them by putting them in a safe area, obviously. Well, once they're tagged out in the wild, we let them go. Oh well, hello, welcome to the day. Okay, right. so that's so, it, and then they know, and that's right. how you figure it out. Right. We that's have to amazing. record important data about, for instance, where we found the butterfly where we caught it, what it was doing, male or female. I thought, okay, will you tell me a little bit more about the monarch itself then? Sure. Um, the monarch is the only butterfly that actually flies the, the double way of migration. We have some butterflies that they go one way, okay. but enough of them stay in the south, so they, don't, they can reproduce that way. The ones that go to the north just die off in the winter. That's amazing. Well, you so. know, we were talking the other day, and we just uh, brought it up at the beginning of the segment about International Community Day, which is a really special event. So I'm curious how you're involved. Well, it's a really fun day. They, the Bernalillo County plans yes. that, mm -hmm. and there's fun activities for the kids. There's some great music. Lots of entertainment. But we're mm -hmm. going to be there to set up a, a life cycle display. So we'll have all four stages of the butterfly. Oh, nice. And we'll also have monarchs there that people who want to learn more about tagging can come, and they can tag and release their own butterfly while we're there. What a good idea. Do you find that kids are just so intrigued by the stages of the life cycle for yes, a butterfly? Yes, especially the caterpillars. The Very Hungry Caterpillar <laughs> was all of our favorite book as a kid. Yep, that's right. Well, you know, if our viewers are watching right now and they can't make it on Community Day, they can still learn more about butterflies, of course, with Wings of Enchantment. So tell us about the butterfly farm. Sure. Well, most of the butterflies that we raise, we do it for education. Right. So we've got the caterpillar raising kits, and we have educational programs and displays that we take out to any group that oh, wants nice. to learn about the life cycle and about gardening, because gardening is oh, yeah. a really important part. And the monarchs can't survive without milkweed. That's so right. everybody hears the weed part, and they think, I don't want a weed in my garden, but they're right, actually right. really pretty plants. No, I, I think it's great, and, and this is such an education, and like we said, beyond Community Day, it's an education for you. But for Community Day, let's tell people how they can come on out and enjoy. Sure, we're going to be there from 1 to 6. Okay. And like I said, we'll have all four stages of the life, ci life cycle with us. Perfect. And we have New Mexico raised monarchs that people can learn about tagging and tag their own butterfly and I That's think great. that'll be a lot of fun for them. Now you make it easy to learn and you make it fun to learn and of course all the details for Wings of Enchantment are on your screen and Tasha we really appreciate you being here with us. Thanks, Thanks. for letting me hold a yeah, monarch. Yeah, you want to hold one more time? I do. <laughs> Maybe for good luck. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Well you know